The fifth annual summer soiree being held tomorrow in Bradford. It's happening at the Heritage Suites in Bradford from 5.30 to 7.30, and it is the fifth annual party, just $15 per person, including food, beverage, and fun. The event is being put on by the Bradford Chamber of Commerce in McKean County. Syracuse University will have to pay the Big East $7.5 million to leave the conference next year, July 1st, 2013. As of next year, they will be a part of the ACC conference, joining alongside with North Carolina, Duke, Florida State, Miami, and Clemson, teams that are pretty notable in the NCAA for basketball and football. Big East Interim Commissioner Joe Bailey said in a statement, this closes a chapter and opens a new one filled with exciting possibilities for the Big East's future. Former St. Bonaventure basketball standout Andrew Nicholson has scored his first points as a professional for the Orlando Magic's Summer League team. The 6'9", 240-pound power forward went for a layup while also getting the foul call. After achieving the three-point play and sending his new team to a 6-0 lead, Nicholson began his career as one of the greatest Bonnies in program history. Our feel-good story comes out of New Hampshire today. A cat traveled six miles chasing down his owner. Barbara Oliphant, a resident in Belford, New Hampshire, had given most of her attention to a stray cat she named Wooly, but when her husband was hospitalized after having a stroke, Oliphant had to turn the three-year-old cat over to an animal rescue shelter in Belford fearing that she wouldn't be able to take care of it. After Oliphant's husband made a full recovery, her daughter secretly adopted Wooly to surprise her mother. However, the cat escaped from the zippered carrier. Three days later, Oliphant spotted Wooly across the street, heading right for her. Animal rescue officials are still puzzled on how the cat made his way back into the arms of his loving owner. He never asked them to pass a beer, but that didn't stop basketball fans from reaching out of their speeding SUV and handing a can of brew to the newest Los Angeles Laker. Jeannie Moose has our story. Just because it's called the passing lane doesn't mean someone should pass you a beer. That's just what an SUV full of Los Angeles Lakers fans did when they spotted the Lakers' newest star, Steve Nash, in a taxi on Freeway 110. Now the guy shooting this is none other than point guard Steve Nash himself. And when they finally completed the handoff, Nash just swung the camera around and added a comment. Fans have been pretty good so far. Nash later tweeted out the video saying thanks for the warm welcome. Now we're hoping the can of Keystone Light was cold. The Rowdy fans opened their own Twitter account calling themselves LA Beer Bros. And they posted video of the view from their SUV and the celebration following the handoff. Yes! Yes! The LA Beer Bros tweeted that they were on the way to the Dodgers game. Guy in back says, that's Steve Nash. Slowed down to check, sure enough. One guy posted to YouTube that the video would be a great commercial. Keystone Light, good enough to make Steve Nash open his window. But the makers of Keystone Light seemed to distance themselves, telling CNN we had nothing to do with this video. Some online distanced themselves from Keystone Light. Not exactly a premium beer. Nash should have realized it was a Keystone and thrown it back, posted one. Of course, there could have been more razzle-dazzle. Hey, pass me a beer. Like the two guys who made an entertaining video catapulting a beer, kicking a beer, skateboarding a beer, and bouncing one. But merely passing a beer between cars whizzing along the freeway is already unsafe and illegal, though so far there have been no charges. We haven't seen a product handoff like this since Grey Poupon. Pardon me, would you have any Grey Poupon? But of course. These two would have pooponed their pants if they did this at, say, 60 miles an hour. Ginimo, CNN. New York. Hey, the way Jeannie was catching those brewskis, yeah. I, I think she could have a future as an outfielder for the Pirates. Yeah, kind of. If, if it was me, I would have dropped that keystone, <laughs> though.
<laughs> get rid of that and go for yeah. the uh, what the Chardonnay. Yeah, something a little lighter. It, there you go. <laughs> the WVTT Severe Weather Action Team tells us we could be seeing some thunderstorms uh, during the early morning hours into Wednesday overnight tonight. Low temperature of 69 degrees. Tomorrow some sunshine, but also some scattered thunderstorms. High of 82 on Thursday. More isolated thunderstorms with a high of 80. But then things look good for the weekend. Friday. Mostly sunny, high temperature 79, and Saturday, mostly sunny with a high temperature of 80 degrees. So, Alexa, we're going to be seeing some great weather as we head into the weekend. So excited for that. Absolutely. <laughs> looking forward to it already. For everybody here on the News Channel 25 WVTT team, I'm Jeff Andrelonis. And I'm Alexa Olson. Thanks for watching and have a great night.